Junior Dos Santos tops Fabricio Verdum in bare knuckle fight. Junior Dos Santos demonstrated what a big heavyweight puncher can do in a bare knuckle fight. In a fight featuring two former UFC heavyweight champions, Dos Santos opened up bad cuts near both of Fabricio Verdum's eyes en route to a split decision win, 28 to 29, 30 to 27, 30 to 27, in the main event of Jorge Masvidal's game-bred bare knuckle MMA on Friday night in Jacksonville, Florida. The cut on Verdum's left eyelid was bleeding badly by the third round. Dos Santos rocked Verdum briefly late in the first round. Other than that, he didn't hit Verdum extremely hard. But without gloves, it was enough to do facial damage. Dos Santos picked up the first victory of his career in any combat sport since 2019. Dos Santos and Verdum fought back in 2008 in the UFC, with Dos Santos winning by first round TKO. The win over Verdum on Friday set up a future matchup between Dos Santos and another UFC veteran, Roy Nelson, for the game-bred bare-knuckle MMA heavyweight title. They were the bump in my career that I needed this day, Dos Santos said of game-bred bare-knuckle MMA. I'm thankful for this whole thing. Dos Santos, 22-10, had lost five straight coming in. Most recently, in his first bout since being released from the UFC, he lost by TKO to Jorgen de Castro in May 2022 because of a shoulder injury. A Brazilian-born fighter who trains out of American top team in Florida, Dos Santos, 39, held the UFC heavyweight title in 2011 and 2012 and still owns the record for longest winning streak in division history, 9. Verdum, 24-10-1, had not fought since a no contest against Rena Ferreira in May 2021 under the PFL banner. The Brazilian-born fighter, who lives and trains in California, beat Alexander Gustafsson in his final UFC fight three years ago. Verdum, 46, held the UFC heavyweight title from 2014 to 2016 and is considered one of the best submissions artists in the history of heavyweight MMA. Mark Raimondi, 